of the days when I couldn't come down steps? Yep. At times, I couldn't walk up and down steps. I was in fear that it would give out on me, and it did give out on me. There were several times when I found myself laying at the bottom of steps. Dan Weaver loves to play sports with his family, but there came a time when the pain in his knees kept him on the sidelines. Be sleeping at night, wake you up in the middle of the night, and your legs would hurt so bad. Jean Sandrock is an artist, but over time, the pain in her knees kept her from her work. We were in New York, up and down stairs, and it was my first problem that I noticed, that I was having trouble going up and down the stairs. Saw my family doctor and then decided, he said, oh, you have arthritis and you're probably going to, some point in time, uh, you might have problems with it. Dan Weaver, Gene Sandrock, like many others, decided to come to Sauk Prairie Memorial Joint Replacement Center to learn more about joint replacement surgery, a decision that often changes lives. The pain can become really life-changing and uh, limiting as far as mobility and uh, the ability to walk and just do th pretty ordinary things. Perhaps uh, it's your work activity, uh, it may be sleep disturbance, uh, recreational activities. Um, typically you're going to have x-ray changes of arthritis and you'll have kind of uh, tried all of the non-operative things that you do. Then my wife would take a look at me and says, you know what, you're not fun to live with anymore because I was grumpy, I hurt all the time. Dan Weaver tried everything and after consultation with the staff at the center, decided to do the rare procedure of having both knees replaced at the same time. The man with the double knees, you know, that's how I was known, the man with the double knees. It was scary. I was pretending to be brave, which I was pretty well until the night before and the days before. And then, you know, anybody, this is major surgery and it was scary, but I kept my eye on the idea that I wanted to be able to have 30 years more of mobility, and that was the, the driving force. Certainly if you're over 60, age-wise isn't an issue because the survivorship on the joints we're putting in now at 20 years is over 90%. So if you take a 65-year-old and you give them 20 years, they're 85, and we think as we're getting numbers coming in that even at the 30-year range, we're going to be 85, 90 percent. So ideally you'd be 60 or 65. The reality is that you need your knee replaced when it wears out, when it starts to control your life. So if you, if you can't do the recreational things you'd like to do, you're staying home on the weekends and not doing social things because you're worried about how your knee's going to work or that you aren't going to get through them, and uh, it's keeping you from sleeping at night, then your knee or your arthritis symptoms really start to control your life and you know that's the time to do it. So how do you know when it's time for a joint replacement? Ask yourself if your joint pain controls your life. If the answer is yes, it might be time to talk to the people at Sauk Prairie Memorial Joint Replacement Center. The goal was, okay, by the summer, this is over and we're in our kayaks, so that was... And we made it. Yep. Last summer we did. We yep. were in the kayaks, no problem. It was absolutely and so worth it. I am back to places I've not, 10 years ago, 12 years ago, I was not able to do the things I'm able to do now. And it's wonderful, so worth it.